Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome to the long-awaited Alpha 20 in Seven Days to Die. I have been super excited for this, and it is finally here. So let's get into this and start busting through all these beginning quests. But yeah, uh, I'm sure you guys are ex excited about this as everybody else is. Um, they've added a ton of stuff to the game, like a whole bunch of new POIs. Um, they've also added a drone, which is interesting. So we got a, we got a drone here. So I'm, I'm quite interested to see what this little guy has to do. Um, what else here? Uh, there's mods. As you can see, we have mods in the game now. And then also the big one, I think they got rid of the blunder. Let's, let's see blunder. Yeah, they must have. Um, but we now have pipe weapons. So another thing I'm excited to get into, we have a pipe baton. We have the pipe machine gun, which, you know, the model of this looks really cool. The pipe pistol, the pipe rifle, and of course we have our pipe shotgun um as far as what i'm going to pick right away it's going to depend on what type of ammo we get at first but as you can see you know all the pipe weapons are pretty easy to make it's just a couple of glue some wood some short iron pipes um it looks like the bat in here it takes a little bit of leather instead of the wood i've never really used a batten before usually i just go with a um what do you want to call it? A uh, sledgehammer, which I probably will do. Um, the XP that I put on this little world here has been up by a bit. That way we can, you know, try to bust through some of this stuff as much as possible or as fast as possible, I should say. Um, they, let's see, what else did they do? They retextured a lot of the zombies and stuff. The, vi or I must said the villagers, I'm sorry. The, uh, Oh, what is this? We got like shape menus with this now? What is this? Oh. So it looks like you can actually right off the bat change the color of your bedroll. That's pretty cool. Oh, we're gonna go with red. So let's uh place this down and pick it back up. Let's get our inventory situated here. We got let's toss all this stuff up here. Bring this down okay let's keep going here uh what is this is this okay so it kind of shows you like for your objective it shows you where some stuff is which is kind of neat i i i like that but i don't i don't know i don't know how i feel about that i'm gonna grab a little bit more wood here so craft frame shapes okay so it's not just wooden frame anymore we'll, we'll see that in a second here okay hmm i don't know if this is going to be a regular thing but there does not seem to be a texture for this let's see what kind of oh my god look at all of these different shapes that you can do here storage cube got some letters and stuff oh my god they've added so many different shapes we got circles in the game little tunnel things oh this is gonna be great guys so let's go ahead and place this down okay it has like a a plywood look to it whenever you set it down interesting Let's get this campfire going. That bunny is not long for this world. So our thing is that way. Let me, I don't know if I'll be able to hit him. Got him. Uh, can I make a can knife? Yes, I can. All right, let's make our way to the trader. So it looks like it's, you know, obviously in that direction. Let's see what we can get stuck into here. 
Let's get this meat though. Hmm. All right. Let's keep going here. Let's keep an eye out for uh, some quick uh, feathers. If I could see any here, man, the the terrain looks really nice. So I I'm on a pre-gen world. Um. So they've done a like a complete overhaul of pre-gen. So oh, that looks like is that the winter biome that way? Maybe not. Maybe it's just the way it's loading in. Um, but yeah, they obviously changed the terrain some. You know, it's a lot more smooth and it flows a lot better. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, the towns now instead of them being just like janked together like they were before i believe correct me if i'm wrong i believe they're supposed to look more like like more look more like a town now so like the buildings will actually like fit like in you know the town and stuff like that and as far as the loot goes there's like tiered loot i believe to where oh we got our first zombie here See what this guy looks like. Ooh, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Stay down, buddy. All right, let's look at this guy. Wow, look how good they look. Oh, you got the brains coming out of the top of this guy's head. That is awesome. You see this guy right here? This used to be the little spider monk, spider monkey zombie. And as you can see, he's no longer a spider monkey. Oh, that looks really good. But yeah, so, uh, like, this guy has just been turned into a reg regular, like, shambling zombie, if you want to put it that way. And, oh, there's a chicken. Uh, he's, he's running. Oh, no, he's not. Really? <laughs> bad shot but yeah uh now there is a new um type of spider zombie i did jump into this a little bit yesterday and i started recording and then my recording messed up and everything so i just i just scrapped it so i saw a couple things but um but yeah the the new spider zombies look like terrifying they are creepy as hell We are making our way up to this little town here. I'm going to try to skip ahead a little. Let's make some more arrows first, though. How many can we make? Ten. That, that's a lot better. Let's take care of these guys real quick. Ow. That wasn't nice. Oh, that was a miss. Let's get some stamina back. Is that it? Nice. So the uh this this guy right here has changed. Looks looks a lot better. What about this one? This one I can't really tell. It definitely looks more HD, but he looks pretty much the same. But look at the look at the sidewalks, guys. Like it's all sidewalk out around here. There's a lot more things in the environment. Like, you know, cars falling down fences. Look, you got like little posters everywhere. But the thing I want to find and show you guys. Let me see if I can uh, come up on one right here. <laughs> nice. Oh, what is, is there going to be none in this town now? Oh, bigging right there. Oh, this is what I wanted to show you guys. Look at this. Like, there, there's actual ditches with little piping going through, like, col culverts and stuff. Like, water coming through the ditch and everything. Like, how, how freaking awesome is that? All right, let's make, let's make our way over to this touch crater. Is this a new POI? I, I I'm not 100% sure if far as far as vanilla goes, but I know in Darkness Falls, 
for some reason this is the poi that i've that i always got in darkness falls oh, got some music playing howdy oh look how good the trader looks trader rick you look awesome no that's trader bob they have different names now Wait, I hear. Just in case. But let's see what he. Let's see if there's anything. So the inventory pretty much looks the same. Nothing. Nothing too crazy there. Whoop! I didn't mean to do that. Little bit about jobs. So th this is another thing, guys. So as you can see, we have all of our tier one quests. You know, looks normal and everything, but one of the Can things i'm gonna pick up this problem? clear zombie well, one of the things right they did with that was the ball rolling. i believe there is a trader in like every town now and oh i forgot you can't do that uh whenever you interact with him and you pick quests all the quests that that trader gives you will all be within that town that he's in so you won't be getting a uh a quest to go you know two three thousand miles away you know uh, he's gonna end up breaking through but yeah you won't get a quest like that's like a thousand two thousand miles away that you have to run and you know go do something with everything will be right in the beginning here so we're well, not in the beginning but right everything will be right in this town and it'll make oh that's big i don't want that but it'll make it'll, it'll make doing quests and leveling your uh trader up in your town a heck of a lot easier got some early concrete that's not bad all right So the first thing I am going to do, I know we picked up that quest, but I want to find a house in the town here. I'll search all this later. I want to find a, a house in this town here and clear it out and use it as a base of operation. Um, just something close by. I thought he was going to get a hit on me there. You know something I need to do that I haven't done yet? My skill points. Is that guy? No. Okay. Let me do my skill points real quick. So, with the skill points, I'm definitely going to go with Skull Crusher because I am grabbing a Sledgehammer. We're going to go with Sexual Tyrannosaurus. Um, we're gonna go with healing factor. You must have a fast metabolism, gain one health every 90 seconds with natural healing, critical injuries, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so go with that. So we got two points left. Um, I think the first point we are going to put into Lucky Looter. The second point, we are going to put in intel so we can get our intel to level two and we can start going down the grease monkey path because I'd like to get a either a bicycle or a mini bike as fast as possible. So that's the plan and I'm sticking to it. A lot of little trailers around. I don't want that. Let's head this way to see if there's uh something yeah i want something uh a little bigger than the trailer so we can have like a little bit of room and at least live out of it a tad bit maybe we'll clear out this little diner here and um take over the diner because there's a lot of you know different stuff you know close by the traders relatively close yeah i think that's what we're gonna do here guys figure out how to act 
Is that zombie chasing that chicken? That's funny. Let's see if there's a way in here. Not there. There's usually a way into these places. Not right here. That's the new nurse zombie. Really? Let's take a look at this guy. So the nurse zombies now, instead of being in that like Halloween looking nurse outfit, they're actually in scrubs now. Oh, that looks really good. Oh. Where did she even come from? That scared the hell out of me, guys. I'm sure you saw me flick my uh, mouse there. Where did she come from? Oh, I wonder if she was back here. I heard footsteps, and then I stopped for a second, and then it was too late. Man, we are taking unnecessary hits. Okay, so an, uh, another thing that I haven't experienced yet, but so apparently they changed the way the zombies kind of path now, like, you know, their pathing is a bit better. Ooh, hello. Got both of you, but also, and I'm curious to see what people are going to do about this, but if you have a way blocked off like for instance um the, the the old classic uh you know one wide one block wide you know pathway that's two blocks high you know and then you have a hatch like every single block that they have to like path through and stuff like that so apparently the zombies now can uh go through they'll try to crawl through like one block gaps which is really cool oh look at this new texture on the spoiled trash nice nice let's go up here I'm actually going to Actually that'll work They can bust that out for me Just let them beat on that for a while while Our inventory is full There's quite a bit of them so you see how he's on top of them trying to Let's get our stamina back. Actually, I could just let them beat through that then too. I just want to get this door off of here. Thank you, thank you. Wait, what did I just pick up? Some kind of key? Did you guys see that? I don't know what that was. All right, let's head back up top here. All right. Up where this main step. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this crate. Oh my god. They definitely need to change these crates now that these guys look like this. Uh so we'll just we'll just wear that. Got a couple other things. Got an ammo pouch here. Pistol. 
so now we have a choice between a pistol or a shotgun. Anything else? Uh, a little trash thing here. Is this, that's not a plug. All right, guys. Good morning. It is finally day two. Oh. I have cleared a bit of the base, but we have some visitors out here that I want to take care of. It's that down. But yeah, uh, let me show you real quick on the inside. So I, where are you at? Let me take care of this guy. I missed. There we go. Anyways, I cleared out a bit of the inside here, put a couple campfires down. I didn't do anything back here. I'm not worried about back here right this second, but we have storage set up right here. I've got a couple things in the inventory here. I'm bringing my glass bottles along so I can get some water, put my bedroll down, and we are good to go. So we are going to head over to this mission here. Let me grab some of these. Oh, yeah. And we also have a point to spend. So I am going to start. It must be that guy. I'm going to start with... I was going to go with Grease Monkey right away, but I think I'm going to go with the Blacksmith here so I can make a... Uh, um, so I can make a Forge. Um, because we are going to need to get down to uh, Tinker. We're, we're going to need to get down to this in order to make a workbench unless we find a working workbench somewhere in the uh, town here. But I, I was thinking about it, and I don't think i want to go with the bicycle i think i want to skip right over and go to the mini bike so we're gonna work towards that but let, let's get going here we we'll woke some people up there looks like we are going into this house here okay oh, yeah. Oh my god, that scared the hell out of me. What even happened? She like... <laughs> came through the door and just yoinked up into the air. That was... that was interesting. Uh, that, that gave me a chuckle. Okay. That looks disgusting. Guess we're just gonna reach in there and grab what we can out of it. Alright. Come on, stamina. There we go. Alright. Got a bookshelf here. Ooh, weighted head mod. Nice. I am happy about that. Let's see what's in this duffel bag. Oh, we already have a uh, one of these guys on, so we will just scrap that. The guys down. We get some clothes. Put that on. Were you hiding anything back here? Yeah, you were. A safe. Do we have... No, we don't. So I am actually going to mark this safe. That way I know to come back to this later whenever I get some lockpicks. Okay, we've been in here. We've been in there. We've been in there. So we are going downstairs. I see anybody yet. I'm sure that'll wake someone up. Nothing there. 
Maybe we won't wake anyone up. What we could really use right now is... Oh, there's probably somebody in here. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, what we could use is uh, finding a recog. Interesting. Uh, finding a... Oh, we got a little basement here. Um, What am I trying to say? A cooking pot and stuff. Let's grab these for the wood. Let's see what we got down here. Guys down. Nothing in there. Where were you hiding? Got a nurse zombie here. Now, how you didn't die from that? Give me my thing back. Let's repair this. I don't think so. Stay down. Man, just a, just all the little li like the little things. You know, like all this stuff hanging off the shelf here and just like it, it, it brings so much character. Anybody, anybody in here? Got a little plug here. Oh, just bust it. It's only trash. Oh, we got one of the new battens here. Okay, let's check this out. So wait, what? Hold on a minute. What is this? Can you like change the color? Oh, that is so cool. That doesn't matter though. Let's repair this if I can. We got some more pistol bullets. Scrap this stuff. I don't, I don't want that. So I'm actually going to scrap this and bring this guy down. Let's see what this guy think, thing looks like. Oh, nice. Oh, I like that. All right, we got a couple more things to bust open down here. Bandages. Moving around outside. Got some gas and some repair kits. And Somebody's not happy. Damn. Doesn't look like there's anything up there. It does just sound like one person, so let's go, uh, let's go say hi. Nice. So that's the power attack right there, and then the regular attack. That's really cool. All right, Bob, what do you got? Shotgun? Well, looks like we're making the shotgun, guys. Let me grab this. What? Let's see if you have any glue. Ooh, it's got that fire axe. I don't have a ton of uh, coin, but got a sledgehammer here. Would this be in chemicals? Oh, he does have glue. How many can I buy? I'll just buy a bunch of it. So it's nine hundred. So I can just gr grab all 15. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. And we will head back to our base. And I will craft the pump shotgun and see, see how it works. All right, let's get this crafted. We got 86 rounds for this guy. Which is not too shabby at all. Let's see if we can... We'll, we'll still we'll still keep the uh, pipe batten for right now. Uh, looks like
looks like we need a little tiny bit of food. So let's just... And the next point I go into, I'm going to pump it into um, sous chef, I think it is. That way I can get all of this meat crafted into something a little better. All right, let's see what this shotgun looks like. Oh, that is so cool. Look at that animation. So it's a one shot shotgun. It's not too bad. Oh, this is this is another new thing, guys. So now you can have th there's dynamic weather in the game to where, you know, as you can see, you know, it's still daytime, but you know, it looks like we have a storm that pulled in here. But let's go find a zombie and test this shotgun on him. Oh, here we go. Ah, it's just this guy. Oh, the sound is so good. But, guys, I think that is going to do it for this first episode of the new Alpha 20 of 7 Days to Die. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did and you're new here and you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell so you get notified every single time I upload a new video. And I will see you guys in the next one.